When ascending a steep hill, you need sufficient amounts of both traction and momentum if you're going to make it to the top. Before you start the climb, be aware of your vehicle's approach, ramp and departure angles. Remember that if you have a tow bar fitted, your departure angle will be reduced. Insufficient traction will provoke wheel spin, making it more difficult to complete the climb. Similarly, if you don't have enough vehicle momentum, you risk stalling the engine. If you do stall, don't worry. In a Land Rover with manual transmission, hold the vehicle on the foot brake. Select reverse gear, release the clutch, and then brake pedal and restart the engine in gear. This means you'll have the benefit of engine braking to help control the vehicle as soon as you start to move, reducing the risk of sliding backwards down the slope. Attempting the climb in a lower gear will reduce the chances of stalling, but you should always try to take the slope in the highest practical gear. This is because higher gears reduce the chances of wheel spin and so increase traction. As traction is so important when climbing a hill, you may find the traction control system coming into operation. The way to make the best use of this is to increase your engine speed slightly and wait for the drive to be directed automatically to the wheels with the most grip. Before you embark on a steep descent, give yourself space and time to prepare your vehicle and select your course. Stop at least a vehicle's length from the start of the hill to set up the controls. If you don't have a clear view of the slope from the driver's seat, get out of the vehicle to check the route ahead. As a general rule, select the lowest possible gear when descending to gain the maximum benefit of engine braking. Hill descent control should also be activated. Hill Descent Control is a Land Rover innovation. It uses a system of sensors that monitors the speed of each wheel. Should it detect any risk of the vehicle moving too fast, it will automatically apply precise braking with no risk of the wheels locking. Using the foot brake in the normal way when descending a slippery hill can cause the wheels to lock and the car to slide forwards out of control. Don't be afraid of using the brakes if you have to, but remember that when you press the brake pedal, the HDC system is overridden. Trust your Land Rover. You're in safe hands. Side slopes are potentially the most dangerous obstacle you will encounter when driving off-road. There is a risk of your vehicle rolling over if you don't take the proper precautions. When preparing to negotiate a side slope, the most important factors to consider are your vehicle's center of gravity and speed. Keep your speed down and increase your vehicle control by selecting first gear in low range. Air suspension should be lowered, bringing down the center of gravity. Drive as slowly as you can, advancing on engine tickover or minimum throttle to reduce getting too far into trouble. Always steer straight and resist any temptation to steer up the slope, as this will compound any problems rather than solve them. Be aware of the angle of your vehicle and the risk of hitting trees or obstacles to the side. You can take further steps to lower the center of gravity by removing roof racks and stowing heavy items low down in the rear load space area, ensuring all loads are securely tied down. Once you've negotiated the side slope, remember to raise air suspension to the off-road setting if necessary. It's best to follow tracks if they've already formed in open ground, but remember to avoid making new tracks whenever possible. When you're negotiating a rutted track, the most important things to be aware of are your steering position and your ground clearance. Try to keep the steering wheel as straight as possible at all times. It's quite possible to travel straight ahead for some distance without noticing that you've engaged a degree of steering lock. The high ruts will keep the vehicle on its course until a point where the vehicle is able to jump suddenly out of the tracks.
When driving rutted tracks, remember to keep your thumbs on the outside of the steering wheel, as in these conditions you could experience some kickback. The side walls of your tires are vulnerable to damage from sharp rocks or roots protruding from the sides of the ruts, so maintain a close watch on the way ahead. And ensure you know the position of your front wheels at all times, keeping them straight if possible. On some Land Rover vehicles, you can check this using the steering position indicator on the dashboard. Read the track ahead and be aware of obstacles that could compromise ground clearance.